Suppose today is Tuesday. What day of the week will it be a hundred days from now? So we are given that today is Tuesday. Suppose we number the current day as day zero. Then tomorrow, which would be a Wednesday, would be day one. The day after tomorrow, Thursday, would be day two. Friday would be day three. Saturday would be day four. Day five would be a Sunday. Day six would be a Monday. And day seven would again be a Tuesday. Then day eight would be a Wednesday. Day nine would be a Thursday and so on. So if we continue to number the days like this, we would be back at Tuesday after seven more days. That is on day 14. One more week later, we would be back at Tuesday on day 21. So you can see that Tuesdays would correspond to days that are multiples of 7. So instead of doing this for all the multiples of 7, we can directly skip ahead to day 70, which is 7 times 10. We know that day 70 would be a Tuesday. The Tuesday after that would be day 77. The Tuesday following that would be day 84 and then the Tuesday following that would be day 91. The next Tuesday would be on day 98 and this brings us close to day 100. So if day 98 is a Tuesday Day 99 would be a Wednesday and so day 100 would be a Thursday. So day 100 would be a Thursday which means the day of the week 100 days from today would be a Thursday. Now what if the problem statement had asked you to find out what day it would be a thousand days from now instead of a hundred days. This procedure of repeatedly adding seven brought us close to day hundred relatively quickly. But we can't follow this same process all the way up to a thousand days. That would take too long. So maybe we could directly start at say day 700 which we know is a multiple of 7 but even then it would still take some time to reach a thousand. So what would be a strategy that would work regardless of whether you are asked about a hundred days or a thousand days or a million days or 64,000 days or whatever arbitrary number of days you are asked about. You can pause the video at this point and think about what such a strategy would be. So we want to quickly reach a multiple of 7 that is as close as possible to the given day number. If the given day number is an exact multiple of 7, great, we know it would be a Tuesday. So let's try to divide the given number uh, which which we are given to be a thousand here. Let's divide a thousand by seven and check if it's an exact multiple of seven. So we are going to use a, the long division method to divide a thousand by seven. So seven ones are seven. Get a remainder of three here. Seven fours are twenty-eight. 30 minus 28 would be 2. We pull down the 0 over here. 7 twos are 14. And that leaves us with a remainder of 6. So 
When we divide a thousand by seven, we get a quotient of 142 and a remainder of six. This means we can write 1000 as seven multiplied by the quotient, which is 142, plus the remainder, which is six. Now this value, seven times 142, is a thousand minus six, it's six less than a thousand, so that would be 994. And you can verify this just by multiplying 142 by seven. So we know that day 994, being a multiple of seven, would be a Tuesday. So we need to add six more days to reach a thousand. So 995 would be a Wednesday. 996 would be a Thursday, 997 would be Friday, day 998 would be a Saturday, day 999 would be a Sunday, and day number 1000 would be a Monday. So day 1000 would be a Monday. So the general strategy is to divide the given number by 7 using long division and if Q is the quotient and R is the remainder you get then 7 multiplied by the quotient would correspond to a day that's a multiple of 7 so it would be a Tuesday and then the remainder which would always be a number uh, lying between 0 and 6 lying from 0 to 6 If you know that this number is a Tuesday, you can easily figure out by adding the required number of days in the remainder what day of the week the overall number is.